What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame of a Four. In this video we're going to be doing issue 20. So in issue 29, sorry, in issue 29 we are going to be doing parts for stage 107, 108, 109 and 110. So it's looking really cool. Uh, we will go get the parts for 107 real quick. You will notice in issue 107 that they have given us a replacement door in with the kit and that is because of the decal that obviously was supposed to come with it uh, when it was done. But we've gone and gone ahead and done the Mike Lane one. So we won't really be needing this door. So all this door is going to do is be a spare door. Um, which I don't think we'll ever need. So um, don't see the point really in that. I think a lot of people obviously weren't happy. Because when we got the build it did say that the stickers were going to come already on there. And as you can see they are huge compared to the Mike Lane one. So um, yeah, just a, just a piece that's just never going to be used. So that's just going to go into the spare pile out of the way somewhere on the floor down there. And we're gonna just gonna grab all the pieces out and then we'll be back in just a sec. As you can see guys, these are the pieces we get on this one. So this is gonna be, we're gonna do stage 107 and then we're also gonna incorporate stage 108. So we're gonna do that as well in this issue, which is gonna be pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to doing this bit. So on here, it just says the right rear fender crown. So we're gonna be doing that first. So what it's telling us, it's just telling us on here whereabouts it's going to be located. So it just says it's going to be located on the back. And we're just going to be building up this kind of rear fin um, first. So that's going to be really cool. So that we don't need the wing. So the wing can just stay there. For, the rear wing can stay there for the moment. All we will need is the part. So let's just move these to the side. And you've got uh, EP screws and AP screws. So they're saying to take the fin first. So it's saying to take 107A. And it's asking us to grab this piece, which is 107F. And it's saying for us to insert it into this kind of um, kind of narrow passageway, I guess. Um, it looks like it's handed and it does maybe, it has kind of like a locating lug where it fits into place. So I'm just gonna just double check to see if I'm right with that. So yeah, it does look like there is a locating lug for that to go in. So that will just literally sit, as you can see in there, in that section, just like so. So um, I don't know how fiddly it's gonna be to get a screw into that bit, uh, but it wants us to pop an AP screw in. So we will go ahead and do that. Might be better to just let go of that for a second while we do it. We're just gonna pop that AP screw in guys and we'll be back in just a sec. It is kind of a fiddly way of doing it, but as you can see there, uh, that piece here is 107F and then there's an AP screw that goes in there to hold this chrome bit into the uh, red bit here. So that's how it should look. The next thing it wants us to do, it wants us to take, it wants us to take this long sh thin strip here this piece and it wants us to attach it to 107A. So this way round, so facing the shiny side, not the dull side on the inside, it wants us to just pop it in here. It's probably gonna be a way round that it goes. So there you go, so it's gonna go that way round. So they want us to pop it in there and then with it sitting like that, they want us to just put one, two, three EP screws. And then this section here is also with EP screws will just sit over the top like that. And then we're gonna just pop those in from underneath. So we're gonna go do that real quick guys, and then we'll be back in just a sec. So there you go guys, just to give you an idea of how that should look. So that is the, um, the right rear fin, and there are EP screws. One, two and three there holding this chrome section trim on here this bit here is just pushed into place and then underneath there are one two ep screws just there holding that on so that's there I and mean, it does say for us to uh, pop this one over the top of this um into place i don't know whether that's just supposed to sit on in here and then when it gets attached to the fin 
uh, it will be okay but by the looks of it it probably would need if you're going to just push that on there you would possibly maybe need glue I don't know I guess they're just telling you to just push it on and you wouldn't need to worry about gluing it in place but that is kind of what it's saying is just to push that top fin on but it just comes off so you could just always keep it later on I'll just see if it does tell us um, so fitting the trim begin by fixing the lower trim uh, to the bottom of the fender crown so I finally pushed the upper trim 107D into place at the top of the fender ground figure C this uses pins and will be held in place further once the fender crown inner is fitted in phase 109 so don't worry about it too much yet and um, we do have quite a few pieces left over so we've got the two pieces here that we didn't get to fit and we've got some spare EP screws I will go grab the pieces out for in the next issue so we are going to be moving on and doing 108 the right rear reflector and outer light lens so we will do that as well but the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pop away our screws and we'll go get those bits out and then we'll be back in just a sec guys all right guys, so all the pieces are now out. There's not too many. One thing to look out for is this little clear lens. Don't lose that, that's kind of a really important piece there. What we need to do there from the last issue, we just need to see what it wants us to do. So by the looks of it, we're gonna be making figure A, which is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna pretty much build on top of this lens here. And the first thing it says is to take 108D, which is this chrome section here, and they're wanting us to put 108B into place, which is this section here, and they want it to be facing, no, so 108B is this red lens here, and that will just sit over the top in there. So that just sits in place like that. And then this reflector here, will then dome over the top of it. And I'm guessing it's gonna go this way around to dome over the top of it. There we go, so that holds it in place nicely. And then you will see the red reflector through there like so. So what we'll do then is we need to attach two AP screws in either side. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll be back in just a sec. There we are guys, so that's now done. So that is what it should look like that way around. And then on the inside, it's got the two AP screws holding that in place. We do now need to go get 108C, which I said was that fiddly piece here, which they're classing as the lens. That needs to go in there. And then there's some really tiny RP screws here that are gonna hold that into place. We'll try and put them in and then perhaps show you afterwards. But I really don't know how this is gonna go down. Um, because they are tiny little screws, but we'll pop those in and we'll be back with you in just a sec So there you go guys I'm not too sure whether you're gonna be able to see those because they are very tiny little screws But they're three little screws holding that lens in place uh, They're the RP screws and you don't need to go crazy with them They are just literally holding the lens into place the next thing it wants us to do is it does want us to take this red trim again which they call figure A and they want us to just pop in 108E which is this clear sort of rocket lens <laughs> and then they want us to just push that in the end but just be careful when pushing it in not to break it but then that just goes in like so just pushes in place there like that and then the other thing it's asking us to do we just need to lay this down out the way for the minute it wants us two let's have a look so it's saying for us to pop something in it's saying to put a vm screw into a trim i'm just trying to see what trim it wants us to put into place because i'm thinking it's wanting us to put in this trim here so it says return to the body frame of the ectomobile remove one of the VM screws that fixes the left window frame to the body rear frame. Replace this with one WM screw figure B. Repeat this process on the right hand side car figure C. 
So they're telling us that we need to be replacing a screw here. So not too sure whether it's a screw that's wrong or anything, um, but there's a screw under here that they want us to replace. So we can just go ahead and do that. We don't need to show that in the video. It's just replacing two screws. I'm guessing they made a mistake somewhere. I really don't know. They're saying that this is what it should look like at the end of the build with these two sections. So the rear light lens and then the rear wing. So I'm just gonna pick it up and just bring it over and show you. It's just got a little bit of fluff on it there. So you should have at the end of these two issues, these bits like this. So it should look a little something like that. So this is looking absolutely incredible. I can't wait to do more of this with you guys. We will be returning again and we will be doing stage 109. And we will also be doing, oh, there's so much to do on 109. It's going to be pretty busy. And we also do stage 110 as well. So we will interact those into the same video so that we do them together. Um, please like, share and subscribe just by clicking down here. And if remember to set the bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you again real soon. Take care now. Bye bye.